Hello, hello, uh, welcome to uh, my punk rock prison. Today, uh, my dad uh, brought me some spices uh, from the USA, some black woods, uh, jerky spices, the hot ones. So I prepared the, the meat earlier, prior to this filming. So uh, I mixed the quantity that I needed with ground pork, added the, the salt in there, and now, the oven is on 200 degrees and the stuff is in there. Let's show you. So like I said, the oven is on 200 and in there is sitting two layer of stripes of ground meat that I have seasoned with the jerky blackwoods jerky seasoning hot and this is gonna be in the oven for three long hours now and I am inserting this little pad here on my pad that I'm gonna put right here and when I close my door the door cannot shut completely this way I have steam that can come out and my meat is gonna get dried up like jerky it's in there anyways I'll be checking back on those with you later so uh, this has been uh, an hour uh, and about uh, 25 minutes in the pork jerky has started to drip from its grease a little. Which is not that cool, but anyways. It's starting a little bit, I guess. It's taking time. Anyways, I think it's going to be going for more than three hours in there. We have uh, some of the sides that are holding by luck almost but they're holding hopefully the grease won't make them slide down anyways that's enough now I'm gonna close that back and leave this further it's been a couple more minutes and I've came uh, to realize that the pieces are now holding together very nicely and by the way, I have two shelves here and on this side I put the sesame seeds and this side has black pepper. This one is nature. And I'm leaving this for longer. So uh, it has been two hours cooking. And I've decided that I wanted to take out the pieces from the bat of oil that it made. I'm going to do that for both shelf there and we'll throw them back in. Okay now so uh, my both uh, sheet have been replaced uh, without grease anymore and uh, we're in for another hour calling for this uh, recipe but I'm not sure for the time yet I was not expecting those to be that ready in two hours from the beginning so maybe this is gonna be fine after three hours if I uh, close this door at one day uh, alright <laughs> My recipe, my recipe. So uh, now uh, the time uh, set by the recipe that I was following has been reached, but uh, I'm not quite sure that I'm satisfied with this. 
and uh, I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer. I'm still getting grease that's coming out of there, so uh, I'll leave that. I might even switch again to another uh, sheet under this. I'm gonna leave it to, for another hour and a half, I think. I'm not sure, I'm checking it and uh, we'll be back. So uh, it is now uh, 7.30 a.m. Cooking has been going for a long time now. I don't even count anymore. And uh, I don't have two shelves more. The jerky has shrinked enough to fit on only one plate. But uh, I still have uh, lots of grease coming out of this meat. This is cheap grocery. Uh, pork meat so I guess I'll have to uh, let it go for longer until it dries out most completely because right now I'm not yet satisfied but I'm getting close so I will be back later again okay a little bit of a uh, time killer here while we're waiting so um, I'm gonna explain some stuff that I didn't show at the beginning so basically, I needed three pounds of meat, ground meat, and I needed the Blackwood jerky seasoning, which looks like that. The cure packet is included. And what they say this goes for, they say uh, to make smaller batch, dissolve five and three four teaspoon and one four teaspoon of the cure with the meat. So I put it in 17 teaspoon of the spices and 3 4 teaspoon of the cure and I mixed that up with the meat very well there but now the trick to make your strikes that's quite easy you take a piece of meat you open your bag like this you place the meat on the on the on the plastic close it down and you squish it to make it even throughout the whole surface in a thin layer and when you open it back up like that, you have your meat spose. You can cut your stripes and place them on that kind of parchment paper. So uh, it is now uh, eight o'clock. I need coffee. The jerky is still going at two hundred. Is not shedding much fat anymore, mostly. It's looking nice. All right, so another hour's passed, and the jerky is now ready to get out of there. So the jerky after eight hours of drying is pretty much ready. Huh? All right. Very good.